Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about all the books that I end up downloading on Kindle Unlimited or free in the month of October. So yes, these are all the books that I either downloaded off of Kindle Unlimited or I got for free last month. So let's dive around into these books. First section is going to be my Kindle Unlimited section. The first book that I downloaded off of KU is The Orc from the Office by Kate Pryor. I have read her other monster romance in this series called Love, Laugh, Lick, Lich, Lick? I think it's Lick. Darn it. I don't know. Uh, but I read the first book in this series uh, earlier in October and uh, this one just recently came out um, on October 1st and I was like you know what we're gonna read this one because I really liked her other ones. This is a office romance with a monster I assume. So this is the romance between Janice and Kent and they have to be in a mate bonding relationship after some kind of incident in the office and um yeah Kent is a IT guy who's quite a nerdy. I think shenanigans ensue or something along those lines and Janice is trying to keep her distance from Kent but she can't. She can't do it. I really hope I like this one. I of course love monster romances or romances. Next is Tentacles and Triathlons by Ashley Bennett, another monster romance. I read her first book in this series, Muscles and Monsters, earlier this year. I just loved it. And so this is the book that's next in the series. This is a MM monster romance with tentacles, okay? So Reese, who I believe is the brother from the girl from book one, Tegan, um, he signed up for a triathlon, but he's not the best swimmer, so he needs swimming lessons. So he asks, what's his name? Cyrus, who is the monster creature to help him with swimming. And the two of them fall for each other. This looks so good. I've been loving Ashley Bennett's Instagram, looking at all of her like fan art that she's commissioned and the quotes that I see on her Instagram from this book. Oh, I'm excited to read this. Next is A Soul to Heal by Opal Rain, the second book to A Soul to Keep. I love that book so much. And I don't know what this one is about specifically. I'm not gonna read the summary. I wanna go in blind. However, the hero from this book was a side character in book one. So we've met him. He's a shy, innocent, kind of like naive hero. It's about him falling in love with, I believe, a plus size curvy woman. I'm so excited for this one. We're just talking about all the monster romances today, okay? <laughs> um, the next one is Wet to the Alien Warlord by January Bell. I heard about this one from, I think it's Chronically Brianna on TikTok and Instagram. I really like her content. And so she was talking about the series and how she marathoned all of them, they like sucked her in. So like, you know what, sounds great. I don't even know what this book is about, but I added it to my KU. As the first humans allowed in Suvin space, there's a lot writing on my all women team. Earth desperately needs their tech and I'm determined to prove we can negotiate the price. Without their planetary defense systems, Earth is a sitting duck ripe for invasion. Except the Suean culture is nothing like ours. When I take part in what I think is a welcoming ceremony, I leave with more than I bargained for, a husband, a mate. Apparently, we're there to marry them as payment, something the top brass on Earth doesn't bother denying. Fantastic. And the Suvan who handpicked me to wed in bed, he's the most domineering warlord of the bunch. Lucky me. I'll get the Suvan tech we need, but there's no way I'm giving it to his demands, no matter how um, persuasive he may be. That sounds so good. I really hope. I like this alien romance. Next is His Heart by Claire Kingsley. I download this off of KU. Halfway through the month, I wanna say, my lovely friend, Christy Hanna, I'll link her channel down below. I love her and her channel. Um, she talked about this in her KU haul video, and I was like, that looks so good. It's a second chance romance that is emotional. It's on my November TBR. I've also never read a Claire Kingsley, so I hope that I really enjoy this and get into her books. Next is one I'm super excited for. This is Taken by the Dark Elf by Charlotte swan so this is charlie swan charlie one swan or something on book talk i love her she is the kind of like spark for the ipb surgeons on tiktok last year or earlier this year i can't remember when that took place honestly but she is a book talker i really enjoy and she wrote a book and this is it and this just looks so stinking good i've been loving her tiktoks about this book her like putting quotes on the screen and reading the quotes. I'm like, okay, this looks good. It looks hot. I need to read it. As princess of the light of elves, their two kinds have been separated since before her birth. When a royal messenger arrives, inviting them to a ball hosted by the king of the dark elves, 
Elvie knows she cannot pass up this once in a lifetime opportunity. Even after the warnings from her father, Elvie knows this will be a night she'll never forget. She expected to end the night with sore feet from endless hours of dancing, not to be engaged to the king himself. Trapped in this new kingdom, Elvie knows she must make the most of her situation. With each passing day, she learns that King Arcanian is now what she thought a dark elf would be like. Sure, he is mean and beastly compared to the males she is used to, but Elvie quickly finds that to be the reason he excites her so much. I am dying to read this. I need to read this right now. I'm currently reading an arc that I need to read, but then after that, oh, this one will, will be read. Next is Drakkar by Honey Phillips. This is the fourth book in the Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers series. I talked about the first three books in my October wrap-up, um, but these are alien romances that is inspired by the Seven Brides for Seven Brothers musical. And yeah, if you want to know more about that series, you can check out my October wrap-up, but this is book four in the series. And they're just cute little alien romance novellas that I'm just loving. I don't know how to pronounce this one, but next is Whacked and Bothered by Fiona Davenport. Um, so this is a series, the Monster Between the Sheets series, um, all written by different authors and their monster romance novellas. And I believe like all of them came out in October. And so this is the first one. And I don't know what it's even about, but I just I downloaded it. This says, having his beloved hometown turned monstrous overnight was rough for Silas Adler. Even more difficult was finding out that he suddenly had the power to channel electricity at the expense of being able to touch anyone. Two decades later, he was stunned when Juniper Finch stumbled into his arms without being hurt. It was a lucky thing since Silas knew at first glance that Juniper was meant to be his. So all these books, I really want to try out all these um, authors and monster paranormal romances that are in this series um because I feel like it'll get me more into into these authors I'm really excited all the rest of the books are books that I downloaded for free uh, last month so let's get into it uh first is My Viking Vampire by uh Crystal Shannon this is still available to download for free. Bailey Ross's world is crumbling around her. Her abusive ex, a human, is closing in on her again. And to make matters worse, a new enemy, a djinn, is stalking her. The supernatural being takes great pleasure in human pain, something Bailey has in access thanks to her ex. If she's caught by either, she's as good as dead. Back into a corner and desperate to escape, she does something she swore wouldn't ever be possible again, trusting a man. And he's a vampire. Protection via the sexy vampire Eric Thorson, Thorson may prove to be a little more than she bargained for. Sparks fly between them and she finds herself agreeing to more than just protection. Though he has promised to not let anyone harm her, the small West Texas town is more than it seems and he may not be able to make good on his vow no matter how hard he tries. Will Sanctuary be the home Bailey longs for or will she have to die to find out. So this sounds like a paranormal small town, faded mate, vampire, romance, <laughs> a lot of tropes in there. So next is Escorted by Claire Kent. I just saw Claire Kent's name and immediately downloaded it. This one is uh, still currently free to download as well. The summary is a little bit too spicy for this channel. So I'm going to let you read it. Um, but yeah, I've heard great things about Claire Kent. So I had to get this one. Next is Break Up With Him For Me by Whitney G. I love Whitney G. And so anytime I see her name, I download a book. The next book that I'm gonna talk about is from her as well. This one, unfortunately, is not free anymore. I can't see the freaking price, but I think it's $3.99 or you could download it off of Kindle Unlimited. But this is a friends to lovers romance. So the summary, the synopsis of this book is in the point of view of, a hero, of the hero leaving a voicemail to his best friend. Okay, it says, Penelope, I know that it's three o'clock in the morning, but I need to get this off my chest. I can't give you any more advice on landing this other guy. I can't tell you another sexy thing you should do or suggest a new set of filthy words that you should text him late at night. As your best friend, I've reached my limit and I can honestly say that he doesn't deserve you. I'm not saying all of this because I'm jealous or because he has the audacity to say that he makes more money than me. I still can't find his name on the Forbes 500 list. And I know that he's renting that Ferrari, but that's a different story for another day. He's not who you think he is and the better man has been always right in front of you. You have every reason to never give me a chance since you know me better than anyone and you agree with all the tabloids calling me the cocky king of New York and the untamed playboy of Manhattan, but I honestly believe that you're better off with someone else and you just need to see. I'm not asking for much. I just want you to break up with him for me. And if that sounds angsty, sounds good. Hopefully I like it. Winnie G is just great. I love her writing. I also found Naughty Boss by her for free, um, which 
is I think a boss employee romance. This one is still available to download for free. Oh, okay. So I think she accidentally um, sends an email to her boss. The email says, have I already told you that I hate my boss today? Hot or not, this pompous, arrogant a-hole asks me to pick up his dry cleaning the second I walked through the door. Then he told me I needed to take his Jaguar to a car wash that was 10 miles outside the city, but only after I needed to stand in a never ending line to buy some type of limited $100 watch. I honestly can't wait to see the look on his face two months from now when I tell him I'm quitting his company and that he can kiss my butt. All of those were my fantasies about him kissing me with that mouth of perfection are long over. Your bestie, Maya. P.S. Please tell me your day is going better than mine. Then the next part of the summary is a reply from her boss. She actually sent it to her boss. No, you haven't told me that you hate your boss today, but seeing as though you sent me this email directly, I now know. Yes, I did ask you to pick up my drug cleaning the second you arrived at work today. Where is it? Um, and I did tell you to take my Jaguar to the car wash and picked you up my thousand dollar watch. Thank you for taking five hours to do something that could be accomplished in two. You don't have to wait two months from now to see the look on my face when you tell me you're quitting. I'm standing outside your office door this moment. Open the door. No comment on your fantasies, although I highly doubt they're long over. Your boss, Michael. P.S. Yes, my day is definitely going far better than yours. <laughs> that looks so stinking good. I'm, I'm so excited to read this. Oh my gosh. Next is The Tyrant Alphas Rejected Made by Casey Wells. I think this one might still be free. I think for a very limited time. So get on that if you're watching this right now. Um, it may not be. I don't know when this video is going up and I apologize, but it definitely is on KO if you have KO. I just heard about this one from a lot of my bookish friends. Love this book. This is a Rejected Mate Romance, which I love rejected mate romances. Rejected mate romances are where these two people find out their mates and one of the person rejects the other and then the other the person that rejected them has to grovel because they realize they done effed up you know. And so I'm really looking forward to this. I've heard amazing things from my friends. Next is Edge of Glory, a small town sports uh, rom-com by Megan Vernon. This is still available to download for free. So Leah in this situation I believe she is a server of some sort at um, a restaurant and this is in her point of view. She says, directly facing me was Olympic swimmer, Jane Morningstar, and I just made an idiot of myself. The rest of the table looked up to see me standing there with my mouth practically gaping. His coach, who I recognized from TV interviews, and even two other swimmers from the Olympic team, they didn't say anything. They couldn't even blink. I couldn't even put together my words, and Jay Morningstar was just staring at me with that Wheaties box smile and those ice blue eyes. What was I supposed to say? Sorry, I just made a weird noise, but I have a poster of you on my wall where you're wearing nothing more than your gold medals, a smile, and a pair of man panties. <laughs> I love like swimmer sports romances because you don't really see a lot of those, so I hope I like this one. Next is Taken by the Alien Next Door by Tiffany Roberts. I downloaded this for free, but it's not free anymore by the time you're watching this. Um, but this is on KU, and this is just one of their alien romances. I don't even know what it's about, but anything Tiffany Roberts and I see for free, I get it immediately. Um, same thing with uh, The Warlock's Kiss by Tiffany Roberts. I saw this one was free for a very limited time. I think it was only free on Halloween. I snatched it up. I don't know what it's about. I don't want to know what it's about, but I love Tiffany Roberts, so. And the last book that I ended up downloading in, um, what month was it? October, October, was Broken by Sin by B.B. Hamill. I've heard a lot of good things about B.B. Hamill, so I saw the author name and clicked download. Uh, this is available to download off of Kindle Unlimited if you're interested. I despise him with every inch of my body, but I'll marry him to get what I want. Torturing me is like a hobby for Nico and he's mastered the art of driving me insane a long time ago. He's my brother's best friend and I wouldn't lose sleep if he fell into a black hole and disappeared forever. I don't care if he's sinfully handsome, dangerous, wickedly smart, and deliciously shattered in that beautiful, brooding, bad boy sort of way. Nico can eat grass. Except my father wants to marry me off to another mafia family halfway across the country and will force me to leave the only life I've ever known. So I made a deal with the devil. If I marry Nico instead, I can stay in Phoenix and won't have to leave anyone I care about behind. The idea makes my skin crawl, especially the way he looks at me and touches me and teases me and kisses me. I hate Nico and he hates me, but he's my one chance and I'll do anything to get what I want. That sounds really good. I have been getting more into mafia romances, so I hope I like this one. Anyways, there you have it. Those are all of the books that I ended up downloading in the month of October. Please let me know if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, and if you have any free ebooks down below um, that are on Amazon, please let us know as well. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a, um, jewel any kind of jewel emoji a diamond i don't know if there's anything other than a diamond honestly 
and the emojis. I don't know. It could be a diamond. Let's do diamond. <laughs> Leave that in the comments, please. Anyway, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.